Hi, beautiful community. On Monday, April 8th at 11.21 a.m. Pacific time, we are welcoming in a new moon solar eclipse in Aries at 19 degrees Aries. Now, this eclipse, you may have been feeling the energy of it in the run-up in the last couple of weeks, particularly since March 25th, when we had the lunar eclipse in Libra. And this particular solar eclipse is happening um, and will be visible across parts of the United States, Canada and Mexico. But if you can't see it, you can still feel it and you may have been feeling it um, now and into the next few days. So what this eclipse is bringing in, just like all eclipses, is an opportunity for endings and beginnings and almost like the death of something and the rebirth of something in its place because Eclipses always happen in alignment with the nodal axis, the north and the south node, and these are the points in the chart and in astrology that deal with our emotional memories from past lives and future lives. And so they are pointing you towards your uh, growth path and your evolution and stepping outside of your comfort zone and into something that is where you feel called to and where you feel pulled to, but is also a little bit uncomfortable, maybe a little bit scary. So you may have been grappling with these feelings over the past couple of weeks of wondering, you know, how am I going to do this? Like, how do I let go? How do I surrender what I no longer need and move into what I feel called to do and how and feel called to be? The other thing about this solar eclipse is that it is exactly conjunct 19 degrees and 45 minutes of Chiron in Aries. And Chiron is the wounded healer. It is the archetype of the centaur who is half man, half horse, and just by that very nature was othered and vulnerable and weak and different from each other, from other people. And so we have these core wounds from childhood, from early life that are repeating patterns in our life that are no longer serving us. So these things are going to be highlighted by this eclipse and almost like ushered out by the energies that are around this eclipse. The other thing with this eclipse, not only do we have Chiron, but we also have Mercury retrograde and applying to this eclipse. So it's um, on the chart as we see it in 2D, it's moving back towards the sun and the moon and Chiron. So that's bringing in an element of the overactive mind, thoughts that might not be rooted in reality, and uh, maybe just some anxiety and some overthinking. And um, there's an opportunity there to really be careful with our words and careful in how we talk to ourselves, be really kind to yourself. And what to do around an eclipse, and particularly this eclipse, is to take some time away from your responsibilities if you can. Maybe clear out your calendar for a couple of days if you can. And make sure that you have some space to get quiet, get relaxed, take a bath, and really call in your self-care practices because it's just a good time to lay low and allow this energy to wash over you and allow the downloads of what these energies, these astrological energies are communicating to you about your life, what you need to let go of and what you need to call in. So I'm going to pull one card from us from the Earth Magic deck by Stephen Farmer and we worked with this on the lunar eclipse and I felt like it brought us in such a great reading and uh, so I'm going to draw a card that is going to share a message for the collective, for whoever is watching this, as a guidance for this eclipse and what we can bring in to feel a little more at ease with this energy. Alrighty. The Milky Way perspective. So that is not unlike an eclipse when we look at it with the, the bright light of the Milky Way. Pretty cosmic, pretty interesting. So um, let's see what this card has to say. The Milky Way perspective. The Milky Way is said to be one of billions of galaxies in the observable universe. It contains between 200 to 400 billion stars, the one most familiar to us being the Sun. The oldest star in our galaxy is 13.2 billion years old, said to be nearly as old as the universe itself, and the Earth is about 
4.5 billion years old. Distances are measured in light years and the Milky Way galaxy is believed to be 100,000 light years in diameter. The enormity and vastness stagger the mind and challenge the imagination, yet it also gives us some notion of where we fit in all of this. Considered from this perspective, our usual frame of reference is, to put, is put to the task. We're faced with a choice of abandoning our myopic vision in favor of seeing and accepting the bigger picture, or we can just allow ourselves to be overwhelmed by a sense of smallness and helplessness, yet know that we are composed of material from those very stars that inhabit the Milky Way. Thus, we're connected to Earth and the entire universe at all times in life and death. So it says here that you have lost your perspective. So it is time to step back and allow yourself to detach in order to gather information from your senses and regain your perspective about the situation. Detachment does not mean that you no longer care. It simply indicates that you are looking at things from a different point of view. It is an outlook that is not clouded by emotions, judgment or attachment to outcome, but instead maintains a non-reactive awareness of these things. The witness, that internal aspect of yourself that simply observes everything in your life, offers his or her eyes here. Through these lenses of pure awareness, you can examine all aspects of your experiences, physical, emotional, and mental, without denying anything. By doing so, you will come to understand a greater perspective that is typically justified by the ego, which allows you to see what is before you with clear vision and an open mind. <laughs> that is a superb card I feel for this time because like I said it's a really good time to pull yourself away from what is going on what feels like it's really present and what is sort of being thrown up into your awareness by this eclipse and if you can take some time to take rest take space and just allow this energy to wash through you and maybe as the eclipse happens and as it passes so maybe early um, in the week after the eclipse you may have a different perspective a fresh outlook on this situation on your healing on your journey on your purpose and on your soul's journey so um, with that wishing you so much love so much ease and so much grace through this eclipse and i will see you for our full moon video in a couple of weeks Take good care.